Hey, hey, it's your favourite live streaming influencers here, VGeeks. I'm Jim. And I am Geeth, and we have got a very exciting show for you today. We are doing the Amazon Joystick Shootout. Shootout, shootout, shootout. So let's go shopping. So it's Jim here, and I've been tasked to head over to amazon.com.au to check out some joysticks that we could use in this video. So here's the wish list that I've created, I've gone through and I've selected some awesome joysticks. So let's take a quick look at them now. Firstly, we have this one here, 26 bucks, 66 ratings, four and a half stars. So I'm pretty confident with this one. It also shares a stark resemblance to something that might rhyme with best box. So I am very excited about this, especially these LEDs here as well. So I think the chances of this one working are actually moderately high. This one here, we have the arcade joystick. Now I really like this one because there's absolutely no branding. There's no ratings, it's just $49.95. We'll see if this one works. Next we have this retro pack here. So I'm pretty excited, 440 ratings, four and a half stars, 25 bucks for two of them. We'll see how it goes. It's got a lot of ticks down here, which makes me very confident in it. And I'm also very excited about this image here. It looks like it's maybe plugged into a laptop. It doesn't show you that, but you have to infer that it's plugged into the laptop and it actually works. So. I reckon there's a moderate to high chance that this one will work. Next, we have this classic one here from the same brand. It's an N64. It really reminds me of my good old days. And I'm excited about doing this as well. Look at this, totally looks real. And uh, yeah, a little bit dodgy on the ratings, 28, four stars. 20 bucks, I reckon there's a medium light chance that this will work. So I'm probably most confident about this one here. We've got this one on amazing special here, 26% off the Logitech Extreme. Pretty excited about this one. I reckon that there's a almost certain chance that this will work properly. So I'm, I'm excited about this one here and should probably do the best job. And finally, we have the Thrust Master. Uh, I don't know what that's all about, but that's what I'm going with for this last one here. It's got plenty of ratings, but only four stars. So I reckon I'm a moderate to high confidence on this working properly. So we'll have to find out and see how well the Thrust Master goes. So as live streaming influencers, we're all around the world doing live productions. And unfortunately, we can't always take our $2,000 TIST or our Quinhuet controller with us. So we like to be able to control our PTZ cameras with some kind of joystick. So we thought today that we would go ahead and buy a bunch off Amazon and test them out with our favorite live streaming software, vMix. So the first one that we're gonna try is the N64 USB game controller, which came in at uh, the cheapest price. It was only $20.99 in Australian dollars. So that's pretty exciting. Let's give it a go. All right, and at the end of every controller, we're gonna give you a rating. We've got the three Fs, functionality, flair, and of course, the most important thing, finger feel. So let's crack it open. Ooh. Here we go. Bubble wrapped. It looks, it looks legit. I'm gonna say that. It looks, wow, it looks surprisingly legit. The color's right. Um, I won't comment on finger feel just yet. Oh, we got an extra one. A spare. Okay, so we've plugged this in and we've turned on vMix and we've made sure that we've done it in that order because for joysticks to be recognized in vMix, you need to make sure that you've plugged it in and it's working in Windows before opening vMix. Now it's time to try and set up these buttons and joysticks. So let's go up to settings. We've already added our PTZ camera mm -hmm. uh, for our testing. We've connected it. Sony Visco over IP for this one. And let's have a look at the templates down here. And we're going to assign the Xbox control and we'll see what hits. Hopefully the buttons are mapped just the same. So let's see what we've got. We're gonna go up. Oh, we're away. Down, down, left, right, diagonal. Look Excellent. at that. Brilliant. Okay, next is to try out things like zoom in and out. I wonder if it's these buttons. No. no. Okay, I reckon we should try and set that up. So let's go to settings. I'm holding down the right. So I'd like to zoom in on that if try we can. Again. Oh. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be on here at all. Yeah, so we must need to map that. So, so we need to go to the zoom in. Yep, edit. We'll change that to the hold down. Perfect, and zoom, zoom out. out. Great. And for the zoom stop, we're gonna have to make two zoom stops. So one for the left that will stop that motion. Oh, ah, sorry, and there you go. Yep. You need to set something on release of the button to stop the movement and we'll duplicate that and then do the same for the zoom in. There we go. All right, let's see how that goes. So zooming in, oh, zooming out. Hey, look at that. Very good. Okay, so I'm gonna rate this. All right. I'm gonna go firstly with the flare. I'm gonna start there and I really like the look of this. I think it looks cool and retro. 
I think it's super useful and so I'm going to go with a 9 for that. For the functionality so far, I'm pretty impressed. Uh, so long as you plug it in before starting up vMix, away it goes, it's perfect. So I'm going to go with a 9 for that too. Seems to be fully functional to me. Can you and just push some of the other buttons, make sure they all work? I can. Yep, just not that center one. Yep. Yep. Yeah, they all seem yep. to work. Start. Start. Yep. Oh, we've even got a start button. Everything seems that? to work. All right, so fully yeah. functional. Yeah, fully functional. Um, so did I rate that? Yeah, yeah 9. And what's the last one? Uh, finger, finger feel. Finger feel. So the joystick, really good. All of the other buttons, kind of rubbish in my opinion. So I'm going to go with a 7. All right, I'm going to go with this one. Uh, functionality, I'll give it a 9. Uh, flare, I'll give it a 9.5. Uh, I do like the end. T tell me about Sol it again. <laughs> solid as a rock, so uh, we like that about it. And uh, finger feel, it has an all right finger feel. Uh, I'm going to give it a uh, 7. Great. We've now moved on to the wide USB classic gamepad. This looks a lot like another kind of Nintendo, or Nintendo, I guess I'm <laughs> supposed to say, controller here. Uh, you get two for the price of one. I think it's about 26 bucks Australian. So that's pretty cool. So we're going to plug this in and we're going to try it out and see how we go. So let's go into our settings. The interesting thing is that it's the same brand ultimately as the N64 version that we were using. So hopefully a lot of this stuff is just going to work the same the way as the other one. So I'm just applying it. Let's just go and try this out. One left. There we go. Straight away, we're away. There okay, we so we've got up, down, left, cool. right. Can we zoom in and out using our um, top? Oh, we've got to reset them again. They're not so I suspect it'll so be exactly the same. Yep, it will yeah. work as well. And all the buttons yeah. work as well. So if we just do a quick button test up, down, yeah. left, right. All the buttons work. Start, select. Brilliant. All of that works. Cool. Look at that. So that one actually works. Wow. So my ratings for this one, I like this one a little bit. Looks pretty cool. Eight for uh, what's the what are the ratings that we have? Flare, I'll flare. give it eight for flare. These are all out of order. I'll give it a seven for functionality and I will give it a three for finger feel. Mm. And let me have a feel. Yeah, the finger feel is pretty terrible, but I'll give it a four. Um, for flare, I still think it looks pretty cool. So I'm gonna go with a seven. And for um, functionality, oh, it's absolutely usable, totally small. So I'm gonna go with a seven as well. Next up on the list, we have a $26.34 controller that kind of looks like another console controller, but what is it called? Uh, it's called the Wired Gaming Controller. But yeah. when we plugged it in, it was like the GC301 no, 1.0. GC101. Okay. It's pretty yeah. good. It's got really deep looking buttons here. It looks like you can see through it to get to the buttons, which is pretty cool. A lot of cool LEDs. Um, so I'm keen to give this one a go and try it out. So we've already installed, plugged it in. All the drivers are ready to go. So let's have a crack in Vmix, see what it looks like. Now we might actually just be able to apply this directly to a um, old template. Let's just remove these for now from our last yep. one. Let's go to the template and we have one in here. Because it looks uh, surprisingly similar to that one, it doesn't sure it? sure does. So let's... Uh, I'm not even going to bother with the setup. Let's see how we go. Side Straight to side. Straight away. We're zoom away. In, zooming zoom in. Out. Zooming out. Um, all of that jazz. Uh, yeah. What are the zoom? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you zoom in with the other joystick. Ah, oh, mm. double joysticks. Double joysticker. Or double joystickers, if mm. you go with what's written on the box. Mm. So cool. And I'm assuming all the other buttons will work in this one. Let's just quickly go find. Yep, all the other all buttons through. work. Look at that. This one works. The D-pad works. Um, what about? Ooh, none works. So the only one that doesn't work is the Xbox Game Bar. There you go. Well, that's cool. Okay. Well, that fires so up something else. So the home button does none, mm. but it also fires up the Xbox thing in your window. So, so be careful about maybe that. Maybe don't press that one. Yeah, don't press that button. But and apart from that, it's all uh, it's totally pretty. functional because it's may or may not look like an Xbox because maybe it is one. Can I have a feel while you rate? I'm going to go with, for flare, I like the LEDs, I'm going to give it a 9 for flare. I'm going to give it a 10 for functionality because it does everything that you would hope for. And for the other one, finger feel, it's not bad, not bad. I'd go 8.5 for finger feel. The, the finger feel, I'm going to go uh, a 9. I really like the grippy back and everything and the joysticks feel good. The functionality, the only thing that's let it down I reckon is that home button. You don't want to be pressing that during a production, so I'm going to give that an 8. Uh, and the flare, a uh, little bit more boring in my opinion, so I'm going to go with a 6. 
All right, so next up is the Thrustmaster USB joystick. It is $46.03 Australian, so a little bit more expensive than all of these other ones, but it looks pretty cool. So we've already set it up, we've plugged it in, we've turned on vMix, we've added the templates, we've gone through, and now it's just a matter of testing to see whether it works. So I'm gonna go uh, up, yep, wow. that's taking us up, and down, and left, wow. and right, and wow. we found this little tiny adjustment knob here. Mm. We've tried to set that up for zoom, but I've got to be honest, it's pretty finicky. Uh, I don't looks think amazing it's the, to me. I don't think it's the best. So when it comes to finger feel, this thing, honestly, it feels just as cheap as all the other items. So I'm going to give that a pretty low rating. I'm going to go with a three. Uh, um, wow. It really is pretty lousy. Uh, it's also way too big. So when it comes to functionality, if I want to travel with this, no, it's not a good idea. Uh, <laughs> but in terms of flair, if you rock up to a production and you pull out a flight sim joystick, I think you're going to get a little bit of notice. Especially a so, thrust master. So I'm going, with, I'm going with a nine for flair. Wow. So what was the functionality on it? Uh, low three. Okay, three, yeah. nine, and what was finger feel? Something else. Okay, you did cover it though, that's good. I'm gonna go functionality, I'm gonna say uh, a five uh, for the finger feel, zero, and for the flare, Thrustmaster, the name alone, I'll give it a seven, but that's it, so. That's it? Yeah, yeah that's right. it. I'm okay. not a big fan of it, like it, it, feels, no. it feels cheap and plasticky. One thing, the, the template is set up so that when you go this way, you bring the camera down, but in a flight sim, pulling this way should bank you up in your aeroplane, so I would be flipping them personally. Invert those controls, guys, invert them. We're back with another one, and this is the RK joystick for 4995 AUD. Now it has suction cups on it and we're going to lift the table that, with it. So that's nuts. We didn't add a suction rating in the three Fs. So I don't know what <laughs> word starts, starts with, F with F that we can use for suction, but we should have added one for this one. Mm. It's, yeah, it's stuck to the table pretty much. Now, um, basically we plugged it in with all of the Xbox uh, shortcuts that were already in the template and we've got it working out of the box for this. Well, it was working, oh. it doesn't work anymore. Oh dear. All right. Okay, so I've actually plugged this in and we've applied the Xbox template to it. Didn't really work, so we had to go through and map it again. Now, I've gone ahead and kind of moved it, uh, added all of the right mappings to the joysticks and stuff like that, but it is not very good. The centering doesn't quite work very well uh, when it should be stopping. It doesn't really work that great. So, it, uh, yeah, it doesn't get a very high rating from me. It does have a cool plastic coating here that we're going to peel off, and I'll show you that in the B-roll. So um, that shouldn't be the main reason of buying a controller, though. Uh, so for me, functionality-wise, it gets a 3. For flair, you know, it looks pretty cool. I'll give it an 8 for flair. And for finger feel, I think I'll give it a 2. These buttons are terrible, and one of the buttons doesn't work that I should have mentioned that in the functionality as well. So. Not a huge fan. Some people like it a little bit more than I do. Yeah, well, I like the finger feel. I'm giving that an 8 because it's got that really cool old-school arcade feel. But, but in terms of actually using it, in terms of actually using it, functionality, uh, it gets a 1 from me. It is just too hard to use. And in terms of it being portable, so that's my other functionality thing, it's not portable. It's way too big. The, the suction caps, they're pretty cool. I'll, I'll give it. I'll give them that. But that's it. Uh, and for flair, um, yeah, you're still going to get a lot of notice there. So I'll go with a seven. <laughs> okay, so we've made it to the very last controller, and it is the Logitech Extreme 3D Pro Precision Flight Stick. It's 66 Australian dollars, so the most expensive controller we have, but I've got to be honest, it's pretty cool. Uh, the, the, the feel here is nice and firm, and the controls worked out of the box. What didn't work was zoom. We didn't have any zoom controls. So we were able to apply that to a swivel on the z-axis that allows us to do that. So. We've set this to a zoom, the We've twist. We've set it up, the twist. The twisting So we it. can twist back and forth and that zooms us in and out. So let me show you how that works. Zoom in, zoom out. Look at that twist. 
that's pretty cool I reckon. So overall, finger feel, amazing. This thing feels pretty solid for 66 bucks. So I'm gonna give that a nine and a half. Um, yeah, biggest score yet. Uh, in terms of flair, also pretty cool. You're gonna look pretty good out there. So I'm giving this a nine. Uh, functionality works fine, but doesn't travel well. Still too bulky in my opinion. So that lets it down a little bit, but I'll give it a seven. Say so the functionality on it's a nine for me. Uh, I don't really like the twisting motion. However, you could set the top no no knob, whatever it is, nozzle, I don't know what it is. There's a mini joystick on top as well that mm. you could use potentially for zoom or something. Um, so I'll give it a nine for that. Uh, I will give it a uh, six for flare and I will give it a, uh, give it an eight for, oh, actually I'll give it a nine for finger feel. It does feel pretty good, especially compared to that Thrustmaster. Mm. So yeah, I think that's about it for wrapping up. We're gonna wrap it all up now, give all the scores and uh, have a winner for the shootout. Yeah. So we have a very close competition here. The Thrustmaster with 27 points, the arcade joystick, which is garbage, 29 points, the SNES 36, and in bronze place, we have the Logitech. And it got 49.5 points, a pretty amazing score. But to beat that, we had our top runners. We had the N64 controller and the Xbox controller, both of them pulling off 50.5 points. Amazing. So now we have the expert analysis to tell you which one we thought was the best. Take it away, Geith. All right, well, I'm gonna say that the N64 controller is still better than the Xbox One. And the reason is I've got 10 buttons here, plus a D-pad, plus a joystick, and no buttons that don't work, and no buttons that send me out of vMix, like you do have with the Xbox. But can you use it in the dark? No, oh, uh, well, by feel, sure. I also agree with you, I hate to say it, but I do. Ha I will agree with you, although this is a fully functional Xbox controller um, and it's you know templated in the vMix program and stuff like that, uh, I do like the way that the N64 looks. Now you do get a very similar number of buttons here, uh, but again, you do have that home key which will bring up the Xbox manager in Windows, so you just don't want to press that, which is probably the main issue that I would have with it. But it is very cool and it is functional and it's way cheaper than buying a real one. So, you know, if you were looking for that, that might be a pretty good option for you. All right, well, with all that said, thanks for joining us. Here's our winner and we will catch you on the next one. Amazon Joystick Shootout. Shootout, shootout, shootout.